runners out there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. What about tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to see more clouds around. I know we finally saw that sunshine today. And now the clouds take over. <laughs> yeah, and then the clouds come right back again. So what we saw today isn't going to last very long. Tomorrow the clouds come back, and we do have some rain in the forecast as well. But the rain likely holds off until a little bit later on tomorrow once we get into the afternoon. And it's going to be arriving from south to north, so it's going to take its time getting here. Nonetheless, temperatures over the past several days have mainly been above average for this time of year. The normal high now is 65 four degrees temperatures have mainly been above that but these past couple of days were a little bit on the cooler side as temperatures held in the upper 50s today though temperatures got back into the mid and upper 60s across the area so we were a bit more seasonable today in fact a few degrees above average as we get into Monday though the clouds are going to be thickening back up again overnight here into the day tomorrow and we do have some rain that's going to push into the area likely by Monday afternoon and as we head through Monday night high temperatures on on Monday, though, will still be fairly seasonable. Most places should still be able to get back into the lower 60s, but spots further to the south may hold into the upper 50s as you see those clouds thicken up and the places further south see that rain first. So the places further south, that's where you're going to see some slightly cooler temperatures tomorrow. Otherwise, temperatures should still be fairly seasonable. Current conditions right now do have us sitting mainly in the 50s across the area. 59 degrees in Allentown, 56 in Reading right now, 55 in Pottstown. 53 for Philadelphia, a little bit chillier, 47 degrees for Mount Pocono. Now they're reporting clear skies, but we've seen high clouds streaming in across the area, and that's going to continue as we head overnight. We're going to see that cloud cover continue to thicken up. So by tomorrow, we're going to be left with cloudy skies, and that's thanks to this system down to our south. This organizing area of low pressure over the Carolinas, that's what's going to work its way up to the north and east, and that's going to bring the rain as we head through the later part of Monday and then through the day Tuesday. Tuesday as well. So this area of low pressure works its way up the coast here. We are going to see the rain and drizzle and also we're going to see breezy conditions by Tuesday too. So that's what we're looking out for through the early part of the work week. It is going to be a bit unsettled over these next couple of days. So here's the future satellite and radar. That area of high pressure that was in control today, that's going to continue to shift offshore as we head overnight and this system continues to develop overnight into the day on Monday. This continues to work its way up to the north and east and we're going to see the cloud cover continue to increase into Monday too. So the clouds are with us over these next couple of days. The rain arrives as well. But here's Monday morning and what's happening is this system's encountering a lot of dry air that was in place today. So it's going to take a little bit for that rain to be able to actually get into our viewing area. So likely Monday afternoon, that's when we'll see the precipitation move in. And then as we get into Monday night, that rain continues to overspread the area and we'll be dealing with periods of on and off rain as we head through Tuesday. Air Areas of drizzle out there as well. Then that rain could linger into Wednesday before tapering off, and we do see some drying conditions as we get into the rest of Wednesday and on Thursday. And by then, we're talking about a big warm up as well. The second half of the week is going to be featuring some very summer like temperatures as highs push right into the 80s for the end of April. So here's the temperature trend over the next several days. Again, our average high is 64 degrees. We're going to be close to that as we head through the day Monday and then Tuesday looks like a cool day with that rain the cloud cover it's going to be breezy that day too so kind of a chilly and raw day Tuesday but then look at those temperatures 20 degrees or so above normal with highs pushing into the low to mid 80s for the second half of the week overnight though our lows are falling into the low 40s we're cloudy and cool those clouds continue to thicken up as we get into Monday so clouds tomorrow with rain arriving in the afternoon for most of the day that steadiest rain stays to our south Highs, though, will be in the low 60s, and then there's the seven-day forecast. Again, some rain continuing Tuesday, lingering into Wednesday before we dry things out. The warm temperatures move in. Could see a shower or thunderstorm by the end of the week. Chandy.